Hey everybody, guess what? You're here, I'm here, so it must be time for another model. So, I built the model, which I like to do, which I think we all like to do, that's why we're here. So, I picked up this really cool set, this set you see in front of you. Da, 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 da. So this is the AMT Piranha, what do they call this? Street and Strip set. Not like the girls that are street and stripping on the, that's a different story. Anyways, so... From Piranha Street and Strip set here from AMT. This is kind of cool because it's got three models in this box. And it's for about the price of two models. So maybe one and a half. Depends where you get it from. So this is really cool. So it comes with the Piranha regular car. Uh, which has uh, also been released as a, like a spy car. I believe it was the car from Man From Uncle actually. Kind of cool. That was a good show. Comes with the trailer. Which is really cool to put anything on. And it comes with the AMT Piranha Drag Racer, which I believe at the time was the world's fastest uh, drag racer. It might still be. I should probably do some homework before I uh, start talking. So, you can buy each of these things separate, each of these things, each of these cars separately. Um, I chose to buy them together because, like I said, it's like, you know, the price for like one and a half, two. So, my plan is to build the, was to build the Piranha Drag Racer. Put it on the uh, the trailer, build the uh, standard Piranha as a uh, regular street car, but then get a pickup truck to pull the Piranha car. But I haven't gotten that far yet. All I've gotten is the Piranha Drag Racer. So that's what we're looking at today is the Piranha Drag Racer, uh, uh, the, the dragster car. Uh, cool car. Um, I've found some reference photos to it. Um, real cool car. I wish I could say the same about the model. I know I have uh, quite a few reviews of other model cars, and I've usually talked about pretty good. And the one that I talked bad about, I got a lot of negative comments saying it's an older kit and whatnot. And I understand that. And a lot of older kits don't fit together. Um, I, I completely understand it. This model, the Piranha Drag Racer, fought me all the way. I did not have fun building this. It looks cool done, but it was a beast to build. So, let's just take a look at it, and let's see what we got. So, three, two, and a one. Boop, 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 boop. So, like I said, it looks pretty sharp. It's a cool car. It's definitely something different in my collection. I do a lot of muscle cars, a lot of... Uh, uh, stock cars. So this is something very, very different from my collection. And sometimes the difference is what uh, what you like about it. So let's talk about it here for a second. You guys want to talk about it? I want to talk about it. So first off, I painted it acrylic enamel 2X gloss yellow or mustoleum. It was the only yellow I had in my collection. So that's what I went with. Um, be careful when you use the two X's. They uh, tend to take a long time to dry, and sometimes they don't always evenly cover. So, this kit, um, when you build it, you first, okay, so these are removable. First, you really build the, uh, the roll cage, engine, you know, and the suspension. So, this whole centerpiece here is built separately and then eventually it's glued on to the base which is you know just that um this roll cage suspension fought me uh, it, it was just a bear it fought me all over the place the engine doesn't really sit well in it um the front suspension's a little wonky um it just fought me the front wheels they give you like a backing for the wheels and they tell you that it's supposed to be like on both sides they don't actually fit in that way if you do that. So I left the insides out and they fit that way. Um, the rear tires were pretty easy. I, they were chrome, but I did aluminum on the inside just to kind of give it a double whammy. Um, roll cage, I just straight up did silver. I think it's supposed to be black. But uh, engine, right out of the box. It's missing the headers. Here are pieces of the headers. You got to put these all together. Every time I try to play with these, they just keep falling apart. 
So I just completely gave up on those and just left them off. Accurate? Not at all. So then once you get the roll cage and the engine all put together, um, you carefully glue it to the base, the bottom of the car. Um, make sure you have it glued in door. This is going to want to keep falling off because it actually keeps the base off the ground. I'm going to keep calling it the base, but the bottom of the car off the ground. So if you don't have it glued properly in, that's just going to fall. Um, the wheels, tires, all part of the roll cage that you put the, uh, the front uh, fender wells in. Go together real nice. Now the top of the body, which I painted the same color as the car, these were actually clear parts. Probably see that on the inside. They were clear, um, white clear, and they also give you, which I thought this was kind of cool, um, orange clear. So if you didn't want to do that, you could just do the clear orange over it. I guess that's if you do a really good job detailing the, um, the roll cage, which I did not, so... I didn't use them. So the front fits on here pretty well. You wrap it around the, um, the roll cage here. I know this inner piece right here where my finger's going across is supposed to be black. I just left it to yellow. Like I said, I was getting frustrated here with this kit. And then the back piece here, oh, that guy, um, they tell you to put these chrome inserts here for the uh, engine exhaust. But when you put it on the car, it literally hits the engine so it doesn't sit right. Maybe I should show it on the camera. So it's hitting all the bars in there and I could not figure out how to work it. I may go back and kind of chop these down a little bit in half. Um, I re would recommend a lot of test fitting. Maybe you need to do some chopping on it. So it kind of sits a little, little wonky when you do that but you pull it back like that, it actually looks pretty decent. Now the decals, they give you a bunch of decals um, because you got the, the other car with it. But almost all the decals, they give you two sets of on the sheet, which I thought was kind of interesting. I took inspiration, I'm not going to say it's identical, but I took inspiration off uh, the one I found in Don Garlitz uh, Museum. Did a Google search of that. Um, so that's where I got my inspiration from. For decal placement. Uh, the decals were actually really, really good to work with. Um, I know some of these older ANT kits uh, um, are hard to put together and whatnot, and I know I got bashed for um, the 1940 Willys uh, pickup truck for saying how bad the kit was. But I really do appreciate Round Tube coming out with these kits, uh, even though they may not be retooled or whatever. I appreciate them coming out with them because they are fun to have in the collection when they're done. And I appreciate them redoing the decals. The decals were a pleasure to work with. That was probably the best thing about this kit. And they went on really well. They look really nice. Got all the writing underneath. Sponsor decals. It comes with a bunch of different little single sponsor decals. Because um, I found pictures of uh, a couple different uh, different versions of that. I just did straight off the uh, cover of the box. Um, also, the stripe along the side, I just did with a black uh, Sharpie. The picture I saw from Garlitz Museum, actually, it's silver. So, a little artistic liberty there. So, if you're going to build the Piranha Kit, just beware that a lot of things don't fit properly. And uh, just beware that you may struggle with it a little. But, beware that it does look pretty cool when it's done. So... In, um, I guess, in closing, this kit, I struggled, but it looks really good. So, maybe one day I'll get around to doing the other two cars in the set, but as of right now, I got that one. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody in between, I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. I hope I inspired you to maybe want to build this. Maybe not want to build it. I challenge you to build it if you haven't built this. Give it a shot. But just remember, I struggled. So, everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. 
please write, thumbs up. I try to write everybody back. And um, until I build another model car, take care.